Hey nerdies, it's Kathleen Ems here, and today I'm going to be discussing No Man's Sky. Now, I'm very cautious to share my opinions with everyone because personally I'm really torn about how I feel about this game. There were things that I found incredibly charming, and there were other moments that I believed were very dull. And it seems that people are very mixed about this game as well. Some people absolutely love it, some people think it's boring and hate the experience altogether. So what I want to do is share the positives and negatives and hopefully explain to you all why some people love it and some people hate it. And I hope that you guys all keep a very open mind as I attempt to explore this once very anticipated game. No Man's Sky truly captures the bleak realism of being in the mysterious thralls of space. Drifting over colorful landscapes and quiet stars, a sense of solitude and wonder drives you forward. It is a lonely experience. No evident plot or cutscenes shape your perspective of the desolate surroundings. You are marooned in an expansive universe with a mining tool and ship. Occasionally, objectives will appear on the side of the screen to direct your journey, guiding you to collect supplies. Yet it is your job to narrate your own experience. If you enjoy the thrill of filling your tiny inventory with unique ores and items, the payoff is worth it. Because the game is often quiet, when you finally stumble upon a new species, aggressive pirates or aliens, the rush is incredible. If you enjoy exploring an open world merely for its openness, you will find yourself addicted to the mystery and unpredictability of this game. This game may be famed for its sheer expansiveness, but lacks purpose. It includes 18 quintillion fully explorable planets. 18 quintillion. If you are a math noob like me, this is what that number looks like. Polygon stated that if you spent one second on each planet, your journey through this virtual universe would take 584 million years to complete. The small indie team that created this game used mathematical formulas to spawn an insane amount of planets with unique terrain, environments, and plant life. This is an amazing accomplishment in gaming, but what does this mean for the player? The algorithms that shape this universe are truly incredible, yet expansiveness has its limits. Randomly generated species rarely contribute meaningful conversation. The aliens on this planet are all but glorified vending machines. Your conversations with them usually result in receiving tool upgrades and nothing else. Mining is an addictive process but quickly becomes a tiresome grind. The entire game can be summarized like this. Mine planets for ores, shuffle your inventory, fuel your ship, and do it all over again. I believe this game has so much potential, it possesses addictive mechanics and a fascinating environment, yet it requires a lot of work. Humans prefer small numbers, if numbers exceed a tangible limit, the effectiveness weans. For example, Dunebar theorized humans can only maintain a stable social relationship with around 150 individuals. When dealing with huge, untangible numbers, there's not much that we can personally relate to. I propose in future installments or DLC that a small amount of planets receive more attention than the rest. Fill these few planets with impactful consequences. Allow the player to truly interact with aliens in a meaningful way. Challenge the player's morals as they shape the planet's environment for better or worse. Carefully craft a meaningful story on these few planets that will give players a break from the repetition and make their experience more meaningful. Personally, I really enjoyed moments of this game. I became addicted to the experience and had no problem playing it for hours on end. Yet I found myself really bored at times. This game has a lot of potential and I hope to see more titles from Hello Games in the future. This isn't a bad game. With a few additions, it will be elevated from a decent experience to an unforgettable one. So I of course want to return to the spirit of my ramen reviews that I originally started in college. So I started these reviews in college when I was literally living on scraps. Just look at how skinny I was in some of my original video game reviews. I had no money for food. So in that spirit, I want to say that this game 
is not ramen worthy. Uh, it's not living, it's not worth living on ramen for. It's not worth starving for. It's a great experience and I think that everyone should check it out, especially when it's on sale or if you want to borrow it from a friend. But I don't think it's worth a huge $60 investment. And I'm really sad to say that because there are so many things that I enjoy about this game, but I think a lot of people are going to regret playing the game. So if you think that there's a potential that you could regret playing it, then I would recommend waiting so that that regret is less severe. Um, there's always a, po a possibility that if you haven't bought it yet, you will buy it in the future and absolutely love it. Um, I'm definitely glad that I picked it up because I enjoy it, but it's definitely not for everyone and that's why I just don't think it's worth the risk for the majority of people out there. Many people I think will enjoy this game and do enjoy this game. And in order to determine if you are that person, ask yourself, is an open world environment enough for me to enjoy myself? Is the idea of a huge ass galaxy with gazillion planets to explore exciting enough for me to purchase a $60 game? If you can answer that question and the answer is yes, then pick up this game. If the answer is no, then don't bother picking up this game right now. Try it later, you might love it but it's not worth the risk. Um, so I don't, I feel like people will be really confused by this review. You know, people might be upset, might think that I either super hate this game or super love it. Um, I'm really somewhere in between and I'm glad that I purchased it. I definitely enjoyed certain aspects of it, but I just wanna be honest with you guys and I don't want people to make purchases that they will later regret. So, that I, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe so that you can see more future content such as this. Uh, if you disagreed with my ideas, feel free to share them in the comment section below. I am always open to criticism. Thank you all for watching. I should go. No! No. <laughs>